Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Monday morning, 8 a.m. And this entire week, I'm going to go on one hike every single day and I'm gonna take you along. It's so quiet and peaceful. Hi guys, what's up? Day two, I'm doing a short hike because today is the day I upload videos on YouTube and so it's a super busy work day for me. So I don't have like hours to go on a longer hike. So I'm just fitting in a little bit of fresh air and exercise first thing in the morning, it's 7 a.m. and then I'm gonna get home to work. I just got through the really steep part of the hike. So now it's pretty much flat you can see my car way down there. I'm on my way down. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hike number three is a rainy one, but I'm honestly loving it because we do not get a whole lot of rain here in Utah, so when it does rain, it's kind of a nice change. It's just a short hike, but the sound of the rain, so cool. So I'm gonna head back down now because I know there's some more weather that's supposed to roll in this afternoon. Right now it's just like a light rain, but I don't wanna get caught in any thunderstorms. So I'm gonna head down now. That was just a really short but sweet hike. I mean, how cool are those ducks in the rain? And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am out on hike number four and I haven't been filming much of it because it's steep and I'm, very out of breath. <laughs> I am feeling it today. <laughs> I'm close, I'm less than a mile away from the top. Just gotta keep moving. Just got to the top and I am feeling good. <laughs> I'm having some of these peanut butter trail bars that I made at home. They are so good. They have chia seeds and sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, peanut butter, rice crisp cereal, and they're just like crunchy and chewy and salty and delicious. <laughs> the recipe is in my homemade hiking snacks ebook and they're definitely one of my favorites. Here's something that I've been thinking a lot about this summer. It's not so much about how far you go, but how much you notice. And that's something that I've just kind of been reminding myself over and over again this summer is to actually like slow on down <laughs> and to notice more things that are around me and be more present instead of just trying to power through hikes and just try and go super far. Especially today because I got super into work. So I love what I do. And so sometimes like the day just goes by so fast and I didn't get out here early enough. And so I'm doing like a super short hike, but just trying to notice more and to be here, like feel my butt on the rocks and the wind in my hair and listen to the birds and just really enjoy it and take it in. So hike number five, that's what I'm thinking about today. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
For those of you wondering, yes, I am wearing the same exact shirt that I was wearing yesterday. In fact, I even slept in it last night. So it's been on for well over 24 hours, but I went camping last night and I just didn't feel like changing. So I'm definitely in need of a shower at this point. I decided to get an early start this morning and I thought I would end the week by bagging a peak. I'm also hiking in a skirt. Can you see that? <laughs> because why the heck not? Actually, technically, I think it's a skort. There we go, seven hikes in seven days. I feel really strong and really proud of myself. I have had plenty of time to talk to myself, sort through all my thoughts. Let me know in the comments below if you talk to yourself on hikes because I definitely cannot be the only one. Before you go, make sure to check out this video here. It's all about the 10 essential systems, the things that you should carry on every single day hike. They're in my pack right now. And then below, I have 11 super easy hiking snack ideas for your next adventure. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.